Alright guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to write a basic animation program using Allegro with C++. Now if you've seen uh, my tutorials before, you probably saw that I already have an animation program, but that's that was one of the first videos I made and it's a very bad quality, so I'm hoping this one will be a better one. So the first thing you need is a sprite showing motion. So you can either draw your own or you can go to Google and get there. I went to Google and got this one. As you can see this is showing Sonic walking. So um, go to Google or draw your own, paste it into, copy paste it into MS Paint and then change the background to magic pink. Magic pink is 255 red, 0 green and 255 blue. We're going to change it to magic pink because Allegro will set this color automatically to transparency for you. So um, the next thing you need to know for this program is um, the, the height and width of each frame. By frame I am referring to each of these. So for me the height is about 45 and the width is about 40 well it could be 40 40 40 width 40 height and on the lower right corner where my curve is um, if you hover your cursor on the sprite um, MS Paint will tell you the X and Y coordinates. So save your sprite uh, in the exact same folder as you are saving your program because if you don't Allegro will not be able to find it. Okay now once you've modified and saved your sprite you're ready to write the code but before I do that um, there are some terms I'm going to be using. I um, need you guys to know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to be referring to the whole thing as a sprite. And I'm going to be referring to each of the movements as a frame. Also, um, I'm going to be using a function called blit and this function allows you to draw a frame it, well, actually it allows you to draw any part of a sprite on a buffer or a screen and to use that function you need to know the upper left corner of the coordinates of the upper left corner of a sprite so if I want to draw this frame I need to know the the location the coordinate over here. And you can find out that coordinate by looking at the lower right corner here where my cursor is. So let's get let's get into code. So the first thing I do is create a bitmap called buffer. This is because I'm going to be using the double buffering technique. This technique allows you to draw everything onto the buffer and then draw the buffer onto the screen. This will prevent the image you're drawing from flickering. Then I have a bitmap called Sprite. This is where I am going to load my sprite. Then I have three integers, pick position Y, pick position X, and frame. Pick position Y and pick position X hold the position on the buffer where I'm going to draw the frames. And frame is just referring to the frames and I have initialized it to zero. And this is my main. Those lines of code are um, essentially the code you would put in any typical Allegro program. 
here I am creating the buffer it's going to be of size 640 and 480 here I am creating I am not creating sorry I am loading my sprite this is where I'm going to load my sprite my I, I saved it as sonic walk and then of type bitmap so now we have the while loop this is saying if I am not pressing the key escape this symbol here is the not part so if I am not pressing the key escape do everything within the loop so here's the function blit blitting remember like I said before allows you to draw a portion of a sprite on a buffer or a screen so in this case I am gonna be blitting this portion of the sprite so the this is the X and Y coordinates of the upper left corner of the sprite you want to draw on the buffer and pick position X and pick position Y is where that frame is going to be located on the buffer 40 and 45 are the width and height of each frame this is gonna stay constant for all the frames I'm gonna be using and then here I'm using draw sprite to draw the buffer onto the screen so first I draw the frame to the buffer then I draw the buffer to the screen so now we have an if statement that says if I am pressing the key left do everything within the if statement so remember above I have initialized frame to zero so the first time I press the key left frame is going to be zero so the program is going to go to this if statement this if statement is blitting this portion of the sprite and as you can see it's still the width and height is still 40 and 45 pretty much this whole portion is going to say the stay the same for every frame the only thing that's going to change is the upper left corner so those two numbers are going to change so once the program go go through this if statement it's going to ignore all of these it's going to go all the way down to here here it's gonna draw the buffer to the screen it's gonna rest for 100 millisecond it's going to clear the buffer then it's gonna draw the buffer to the screen again and it's going to increment frame by one so the next time I'm pressing the key left frame is gonna have a value of one so the program is gonna go to this if statement then the next time frame is gonna have a value of two then the program is going to go to this if statement the next time frame is going to have value of 3 and so on until it reaches 7 so once it reaches 7 which is frame 7 is going to go through all of these and then it's going to increment it again and frame is going to have a value of 8 but I only have I don't have a uh, frame I only have 8 frames because remember it's from 0 to 7 so that's 8 I don't have a ninth frame so if frame has a value of 8 make give frame the value of 0 so that's gonna um, essentially that's going to allow me to cycle through the sprites over and over and over again as long as I'm pressing the key left
So if I'm not pressing the key left, um, actually I don't need the release screen since I don't have an acquire screen. Once I'm not pressing the key left and I exit from the while loop, I'm going to destroy the sprite. And that's essentially the whole program. So here's how it looks if I run it. As you can see, it's moving in place. If you want it to move across the screen, all you have to do is to um, change the value of pick position X while you're pressing the key left. So it has to be um, this piece of code has to be within the if statement. So since I'm moving left, I am going to be decreasing pick position X. So in this case I'm decreasing it by 10 every time. So here's how it looks if I run it. This is the longest possible way to write this code but it's very simple and it shows the concept very clearly so that's why I chose to do this video next I will upload a video that shows essentially the same program but with considerably less lines of code so if you have any questions just let me know and I'll do my best to try and answer you